Ah, oh, now this is the thing we must talk about. Is we've got a question today from Mike. Thank you, Mike, for your question. Um, <laughs> thanks for phoning in from Australia. Why do we use these um, pipettes when apparently all over the forums it says you shouldn't use these pipettes because things evaporate from them or the tops melt, or whatever? Well, mm -hmm. so what people might observe if we are if if they've been watching films is that every time I put the lid back on. I will always, before I put it in, I always empty everything out, mm -hmm. fill it up with just air, <laughs> then stick it in, and that means that it is very unlikely then that the liquid will make its way up the tube. Yeah. Capillary action, that's what it's called. Capillary action, yes. well done. Yes, we remember the entire. Um, <coughs> but if you leave it full, then what happens is, the air here will escape a little bit, and it's not quite capillary action, it's a bit, bit but you're talking about capillary action for the very, very, very bottom of it, where it's a very narrow tube. Um, and if the air here evaporates a little bit, because it's a little bit leaky around the top, then this can draw up into the bulb and it can it, it escape. But I'll just do that while we're here, because that's what it's for. But if you empty it, you and then put it back in and you just, you know keep checking them but then you don't lose your materials if they're in ethanol then you know it's absolutely fine to have them stored in these and for the same reason if you anyone has any cosmetic products that they use that come in those kind of bottles yeah Aesop etc always yeah. empty your tubes yep yeah. empty your tubes let that be a lesson 